We went through a rock garden, um, we did a hill climb, a bunch of off camber stuff, and the trailer did perfect. The instructor kept thinking it was going to bottom out, and it never bottomed out once. He, the instructor was even uh, really impressed with it. Hi, I'm Cody. And I'm Ross. And this is our extreme off-road hiker trailer. Um, we have some pretty big plans coming up here soon with our hiker trailer. We're planning on a uh, cylinder house and we're going to be living out of it full time. Um, loosely traveling the country, visiting some Marine Corps friends and um, just getting together with some like-minded individuals and exploring. Um, I'm a website designer and graphic designer so I'm going to get that Starlink hooked up and work anywhere we have service. <laughs> We saw a video on YouTube of it was an Overland Expo and it was all the it was all the trailers and uh, we saw the hiker trailer and we're like wow we really like that and then we saw that they were made in Columbus Indiana and uh, we didn't even look at any of the other options we we're like we're just gonna head there to the factory and get our eyes on it see how great it really is and pull the trigger on it that day I think yeah we only live an hour away so we thought why not um, and also. The biggest thing that called us to the hiker trailer was we like the teardrop shape, or not the, not the shape, the size of the teardrop, yeah. but we hate how it cuts off so much space in the rear. And we have a giant schnauzer and obviously a, a large man and, you know, me. So we need space. Yep. Um, we want to be able to move around. And also, we've been building up this Tacoma to go off-roading. And we want to be able to go off-roading with our bed. So whenever we see this beautiful remote location that's calling our name to just stay a few days, we'll be able to roll up, park there, put the awning out, and relax. We did a hill climb, a bunch of off-camber stuff, and the trailer did perfect. The instructor kept thinking it was going to bottom out and it never bottomed out once. He, the instructor was even uh, really impressed with it. Yeah, we have, um, we do have a fridge which we obviously um, use for all of our food. Uh, this is a um, 46, 46 liter. Yeah, 46 liter fits a week's worth of food. Yep. Um, it's been great for us, so that is a must. It's also nice if you go out to eat and have some leftovers and you got the hiker trailer, put Toss them in the, in the fridge, fridge and you're good. Um, inside here, it's pretty normal setup. We have the um, galley closed off. You're able to you know, get through to the back, um, yep. through the doors. Um, and we just have a shelf just to kind of keep us a little bit more organized. And we really enjoy the setup. Max fan is amazing and a must for sure. We definitely love our awning. Uh, that's, I think that goes without saying with yeah. most people who have them. Uh, we have a black dog who needs shade and it offers plenty of that. Um, we're really excited for the awning walls to come in. So yep. um, we have even more space um, underneath because they kick out. Uh, so I think that'll be fun even to have a few of our friends bring a couple air mattresses and uh, we can make a little outside uh, yeah. tent for them. Um, and as far as the galley goes, something we wish we would have done but we did do later is... We had the pigtail installed by Hiker Trailer. So we have the lithium ion option and uh, it's nice to have some peace of mind to be able to kill that battery if our fridge dies with meat in it or our fan stops working and it's hot outside. To be able to come to the back and plug a Goal Zero, EcoFlow or any battery bank in and be able to have emergency power and it's a nice backup plan for sure. A lot of peace of mind with that. Yeah and as far as the polling goes, it's really nice too just to plug it in and see how much is that fan pulling yep. at what speed or what speeds and how much uh, the fridge is pulling so we can get a gauge on it. Oh, we are running low on battery. Maybe yep. we should just put the EcoFlow with the fridge right now yeah. so that the fan's only using the, the lithium ion in the front. So. Uh, we really like the rear swing out as well with a trash bag on the back. That really helps keep things tidy and not having to stink the tr truck up or have a mess in the bed of the truck. It's a little more organization. 
I uh, actually use it at home sometimes. I had a run in with a whole ne uh, nest of ticks and the only thing that worked was hot water to help with my tick bites. First day in, the hot water tab broke off in the shower so then we didn't have any hot water and the plumbing got messed up in the house. So I was in the driveway using my hot water and taking hot showers and, no matter what. And it was getting up to 120 degrees, which yep. was a perfect temp for curing yeah. the itch. Yep, and it works really well. It's instant hot water. Um, you hardly waste any water trying to heat it up. As soon as it senses the water pressure come in there, it fires right up and works really well. Uh, this originally came on the other side, which I think is great for cooking. But yeah. since our uh, hot water heater is right here, we put it on this side. Although it is pretty simple to just yeah. take it off. 10 millimeter bolt, ratchet, comes off really easy. So in the future, we might just get two. another one for each side. Um, and something that we definitely recommend getting, something we definitely recommend getting would be the roof rack. Uh, this is the Rhino roof rack. Um, the Pioneer tray. Yes, the Pioneer tray. Um, and obviously we have two large pelican cases up there and we plan to mount much more shovels, um, yep. other rack or other uh, uh, storage space. And that's gonna be huge for our year of travel. Yep, it really, we had a whole bunch of stuff in the galley and we're able to put our scottle and a lot of our cooking stuff in these boxes. And then the, on the awning side, we just filled with stuff we don't typically use all the time so that we don't have to break the awning down to get to it. We are still in the process of filling our space, figuring yeah. out what we do need to bring. So we have, we've only done uh, like week long trips um, and we haven't, we don't even have everything filled. Up, up top here is um, like the fire pit, our uh, table, table um, Scottle, you know, just a few that more like out we camping things, things we often. would really only use if we had the hiker. Yeah. Um, so the stuff that is going in the truck is Those stuff tools. that we want it to always be with the truck. Our yep. dogs uh, folding out bed. Yep. Um, our dirty laundry. Yep, our dirty laundry goes up in the case up top. Um, yeah. Basically, because in case we want to go down a trail or something that we know we're not going to be able to pull the trailer with. I want to have all the tools and stuff with the truck and not have to worry about it. Yeah. Be able to disconnect the trailer, do a quick little lap, and then come back. And yeah. Yeah, Basically, we treat the trailer like a house and we keep treat the Tacoma like a garage, essentially. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for checking out our trailer yep. and our nice little rig here. And if you ever want to join in on our adventures, we will be starting a uh, YouTube channel. We already have our Instagram established. It's Bob Walden, F-O-B dot W-L-D-N. Um, go ahead and give us a follow yep. on there and uh, see where these adventures take yep. us. And there is pictures and video of the drive course we did with the trailer on that as well. Yep, and some off-roading in Moab, which was our second day of, of owning, owning the hiker trailer. So have a great day. <laughs> I don't know how to Smash finish that, that one. Like button. Smash that like button. <laughs> you got a little more used to that.